like Scoob? These fish are mean, man. Oh, no, Shaggy. Huh? African cichlids are aggressive. They're murderers. Huh? African cichlids are bad, okay? If some or all of these things have rung true for you in terms of keeping African cichlids and their aggressive style behavior, and you can't figure it out, or maybe you have, but not fully, here are the steps that I take to reduce aggression in my tanks and not one death from aggression in this tank. Disclaimer, you may be thinking, well, dummy, you're missing your big Venustus. Yes, we've talked about it in past videos. He's probably about eight to nine years old based upon our calculations. And well, he ended up passing away. He was just deteriorating slowly. No fin nippage, no bite marks, just big, old, and well, expired. Now to the video. All right, folks, it's Jay Wilson. I'm talking about the stuff that reduces the aggression in my tanks, whether it's Pseudotrophius and Buna, Alnacara peacocks, or Hapalochromis haps, or if I'm keeping Trophius, or any Neolamprologus, you name it. I'm gonna give you the steps that I took to reduce aggression in my tanks. A few things, proper stocking. I've said it in many videos. Matter of fact, I said it in the last video I've done, proper stocking, finding the right balance for you. This seems to be the right balance. I wanna add more fish but I'm just a little timid to do that in the ways where I don't want to create any swift movement of aggression, hierarchy, or politics. Yeah, these guys are politicians. <laughs> the other things that I do is higher temperature creates a higher metabolism. A higher metabolism, you want to eat more. Rings true in just about any species. Some species are able to mitigate the urge to eat based upon the availability of food, but when you're keeping fish in a small glass box, they wanna eat. And when they don't eat, they probably get bored. And when they probably get bored, they get a little bit more aggressive. Hmm. So I lower the temperature. I typically keep my African cichlid tanks for the most part between 76 and 78. I found that a lower temperature helps to slow them down slightly. Now onto the food. You got to keep a consistent diet for your fish. It could be anything, but keep it stable, keep it consistent, and keep them under wraps in terms of knowing exactly when they get fed so that they are prepared, you're prepared, and they're not waiting or going, well, I got fed yesterday, and now I'm gonna get fed maybe in five days. If you're doing every other day, you're doing once a day, or you have some sort of schedule, keep it that way and keep it consistent. Maintenance. Everything plays a role into how these guys react within a glass box. Keep your maintenance on a tight schedule. I cannot beat this dead horse enough. The other thing, provide the right scape. Yes, Mbuna love caves. They love pass-throughs. They love little holes. They need to be overcrowded. That doesn't ring true to every African cichlid. Alanacara, peacocks. Some are cave dwelling, most are not. So why are you going to completely rid that thing with caves or put too many caves in there and then what happens? More aggression, more spaces for the Alanacara peacocks to take over and then what? They start getting territorial. Peacocks are notorious for that, that I have found. Haps, predator haps, I typically don't have a lot of hides. Pass-throughs, maybe something they can get under and keep that, that territory to themselves, but I don't create so many. If I'm creating one or two, that means there's a tank boss, so to speak, and then there's kind of the second in command, and then everything else will fall into place. That's what I found has worked within this aquarium. I've got a couple of pass-throughs, there's a hide under that large stump, but everything else is wide open. Folks, these are just some of the steps that I take to reduce the aggression. I don't keep the lights on more than about five hours a day. I make sure they're on a timer or that I am consistent with the lighting. The temperature is not fluctuating drastically. All of these things play a huge role. Now, you've tried all these things and now you're gonna separate the fish. If your fish is physically killing another fish, Chances are, a timeout is not gonna work for that little fish. 
But if your fish is just showing some aggressive behavior, you can take them out and remove them for a couple of weeks. A couple of days really isn't gonna do anything. And then when you reintroduce them, you need to kind of reintroduce them with other fish. Maybe a, a, a pickup of two fish. I like to do odd numbers, not just a single and a double. I'm talking three or more at one time because this creates a little bit of confusion. It kind of throws into the hierarchy of those fish something a little bit more complex than one kid coming into the playground with 50 other kids that have been playing there for two weeks and have established what they've established. Not everybody is, hey, come on in, guy, it's gonna be fun. We're in a glass box together, eating little balls and flakes of food. Isn't this grand? It doesn't work like that. And it'll never work like that. So take the necessary steps. If your fish is actively killing another fish, well, you may have to get rid of them. And I'm not talking about expiring them. I'm talking about trading them into their local fish store, being honest about why the fish is like that, and maybe giving it to somebody that has a much larger aquarium than you do. It may help. It may help you, your sanity, the way you keep your tank, how you feel about African cichlids. Take this for what it's worth. It's worked for me. I hope it works for you. And if it doesn't, it's not gonna kill your fish. It'll just give you lessons to learn to better yourself as a fish keeper. Thank you so much for watching. Hit the subscribe button, the bell, ding it, get notifications, watch some playlists, check out some old videos on how to make tanks clear and how to feed your fish properly, things like that. Maybe, you don't have to. You can just end it right now. You know what's next. Holla! I see you've stayed. Thank you. Make your life better. Be the change you want to see in the world. You know, there's many people out there that'll do videos and things and make you happy. Watch those. Be awesome today like Snake Bites TV says. Make today awesome. Make tomorrow awesome. It's the present. It's a gift. Enjoy it. And don't waste time. We don't have an expiration date. We don't have a best use by date. It can all end tomorrow. It can all end whenever. So make the most of what you're doing now and be impactful. Thank you so much for staying. Enjoy your weekend.